these windows. The old house could have been set afire. Washing walls is no part of my duties. Then children is right out of control. <laughs> Fireworks in a nursery. Who else had let fireworks off indoors? Huh, kids. No. Oh, we'll never get it out. We will, Chris Cat. Pitch your arms not a bit longer, Cyril. Pity some girls are such babies. Dummy tea party. Now I've got my shirt wet. I doubt we should be able to make a claim on the insurance. It's hardly an accident, letting off fireworks indoors. <laughs> oh, my precious lamb. What a nasty cough. Ah, that'll be the man with the new carpet. Got him. Well done, Bob's. Hand a bit. And I shall expect you to change it. Oh, they're in a thread gone in it nowhere, Mum. It's a bargain if ever there was one. Good day to you. <laughs> I suppose you can't expect much for 22 shillings and ninepence. Mm. Now to the real work. <laughs> ah! oh, found it in the pantry. And killed it. I'm dead already. Mm. Poor little thing. Now, let's find a box to bury it in. Second hand, I suppose. Third, I shouldn't wonder. Still, good enough to be letting fireworks often. There you are. Lend a hand, will you? Move that chair! In the carpet, you say? Oh, so may we keep it? Please. But it's not ours. Mr. Tonks must have rolled it up by mistake. So I suppose you've got to take it back. So don't you make no blooming error. <laughs> don't want you to take it back. A bargain's a bargain. That carpet is perfect throughout. We found something in it, Mr. Tom. Well, it must have got it up at your place. There's no point trying to blame me. That carpet's as clean as a whistle. We never said it wasn't clean, but we wanted it oh, to Oh, it's mm. moths, so I'll soon clean that with some borax. But I must tell you, there were no moths in it when it left my hands. Not so much as an egg. But that's just it. There was so much as an egg. But clear out before I call the police. Come in here accusing me of keeping things and things what I sell. So it's all right if we keep it, then? Yeah, come on, move on, get away. Oh, before I give you a flea in your ear. like the bonfire. We'll have no more playing with fire, thank you. And no more trouble with Eliza and Cook. We'll be back by eight. And I expect to find you all in bed asleep. Good night. Good night. Good night, Good night darling. Good night. Guy Fawkes. All we did was let off a beastly squib. Don't you worry, Mum. We'll see as they don't go out. Oh, we'll keep an eye on them, Mum. Never fear. Thank you, Cook. Good evening. Sorry. I don't want to hear one single sound out of you all evening. You hear that? What I want is for something to happen. Things would happen right enough. If, if only we could give them a shove. Like what? 
Magic. We could have a go at it. Draw magic signs on the floor. And light a ritual fire and sweet smelling words. And then do incantations. Go on, what do you see? Well, you've you've got a long knife, I think. But, but is it a happy one? Oh, it don't show that. No, it would it not living in this house? What about fame and fortune? You've got a funny hand, Cook. It's got funny lines. Oh, sure isn't my hand as good as anyone else's. Magic symbols draw. Come, O oh magic, come. Come, O oh magic, come. Make something happen. Oh, crikey. Oh, oh, it's a town. It's a town. Oh, it's hot. Ah, now you've done it. Oh, oh, the tongs, get the tongs. I am not nearly cool yet. I know what it is. I've seen it in the encyclopedia. Which one of you put the egg into the fire? He did. did. It. I am your grateful dead. I know who you are. You are the phoenix. Hmm. Mm. That is not a flattering likeness. Oh, and you live forever. And I cannot tell you how weary I get of it. So you make a pyre and lay an egg. And then burn yourself and go to sleep. Well, then wake up in your egg and go on living forever and ever. But how did your egg get here? Ah, that is my life's secret. I couldn't tell it to anyone who wasn't really sympathetic. I've always been a misunderstood I might tell you, you put me on the fire. You, you won't vanish or do anything sudden, will you? Do you wish me to stay? Mm? Oh, yes. yes. Why? Why do you wish me to stay here? Because, because, well, because um, you're, you're the most beautiful person we've ever seen. You are a sensible child. And I will not vanish or anything sudden. And I will tell you my tale. Rum go. Are you telling me my tea leaves is different from everyone else's? Oh, yes. There is a bit. But is that a good thing or a bad thing? It's good. Bad. Well, neither. St. Bridget and all the saints preserve us. Well, have you had any good dreams? Where's the dream book? I don't see what you wanted with a carpet when you've got such beautiful wings. They are nice, aren't they? But the carpet, the magic carpet that takes you anywhere you wish, what happened to that? No, oh, that. I should say that is the carpet. Yes, I remember the pattern perfectly. I feel certain that is the one. Yes, it is. <gasps> oh, they're back. Oh, now we'll catch it for not being in bed. Wish yourselves there, and then wish the carpet back in its place. You must all get onto it. Quick! I wish we were in bed and the carpet back in its place. I say... I don't believe it. Now 
I shall sleep here. Please do not mention me to your kinsfolk. They'd never believe us. Oh, there we are, Mum. And had a lovely time, I trust. Oh, it's a sleeping ducky. Here, I'll take him for you. Oh, oh. Shh, 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 darling, there. Oh. And the children? I hope they've been good. Oh, we've not heard a whisper, though we have listened ever so hard. And, uh, Mum? Yes? Uh, well, cook and me, we was wondering, uh, well, tomorrow, with it being her birthday, Excuse me. Excuse me. I say, you are real. And the carpet last night, was that real? The carpet is as real as ever it was. But, of course, a carpet is merely a carpet. Whereas a phoenix is superlatively a phoenix. It is still here. I have been reflecting. I could not avoid the conclusion that you were quite insufficiently astonished at my appearance yesterday. Did you by any chance expect my egg to hatch? Not us. And even if we had, we could never, never expect it to hatch into anything half so splendid as you. But you see, we have had things happen to us before. We met the Samiad. <laughs> it's a sand fairy. It gave us wishes. Yes, I know the Samiad. What? Can you give wishes as well? Mm, oh, dear me, no. Rather an absurd creature, I have always thought. And not nearly so old as I am. Oh, but he's thousands and thousands. Mm, I simply have to have an hour or two's rest. You must remember that it's 2,000 years since I had any conversation. I'm quite worn out. Ooh. As soon as Mother's gone to Granny's, we'll wake it up and try the carpet. Now listen, my darlings. Eliza and Cook have gone off to the Crystal Palace. So, I shall expect you to be on your very best behaviour. We, we will. will. Oh, we will be. Goodbye now. Mm. Goodbye. 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 Oh, give my love to Granny. Honey. I shall. Now. Oh, am I awake again already? Where shall we go? Japan. No, America. No, the seaside. Not in November, Duffer. I vote we let the Phoenix decide. Sleep is repose and existence wearisome. Yes, I know. But look here. We're sorry to bother you, but we want to go somewhere abroad. But we can't make up our minds where. Then let the carpet make up its mind. If it has one... Just say you wish to go abroad. Yes. Come on, then. Oh. We wish to go abroad. I say! It's like train, express train. Oh. Oh. It's like toboggan. Oh, magic! Look! The cow chain might fall off. It's like having wings. <laughs> oh, darling Phoenix, it's all your doing. Don't mention it. Oh, look out! Look out the chimney! Oh, 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 She doesn't stop you getting hungry. Oh, look! Let's go there. Oh, yes. We'll be stuck up there all day. Don't be an ass, Jane. I don't see why I can never do anything. Just because I'm the youngest. I wish the carpet would just fit itself on the tower. So then... Oh, Chopping it! 
So it is. Well, then why hasn't it worked? But I did tell you, you know. You just didn't listen. Well, tell us what? Why, that the carpet only gives three wishes a day. And, and we've had them. Keep one, I said. Keep one for emergencies. Well, this is one, all right. So how are we going to get home? I have no idea. I could fly, I suppose. Please, please, dear beautiful Phoenix. You are so old and wise. Surely you can help us. As a matter of fact, I believe I can help you. Oh, hooray! Unless I am grossly deceived, I can help you. We knew you'd come up, chumps. You won't mind my leaving you for an hour of... Oh, but please! You let it go. Suppose it never comes back. And when they find us, we're just a heap of bones. <laughs> it will. I'm sure it will. It's a bird of its word. So now what? Perhaps in the future, certain silly little girls will think twice before they wish. We wasted a wish on getting you down. She's right. We did. <laughs> Why don't we scratch our names on the walls? So at least they'll know who we were when they find out. Bones. These teasing <laughs> those cats. <sighs> what an extraordinary place to choose to live. I prefer something a little more dignified myself, I must say. A temple or such. Ah, well. Samiad! <laughs> Samiad! Well? Oh, it's you. You don't change, I see. Very short on manners. However, you are very young. Young? Young? I may as well tell you. In the scale of things, I mean. You are young, for instance, in relation to myself. You are an egg. You may have those ridiculous feathers now, but you are nothing more nor less than an egg. An egg isn't much in the scheme of things. I shan't argue. I never argue. I can't think why you came bothering me. Goodbye. Wait! I have met some friends of yours. Friends? Children. Oh, don't let's go any further. There might be snakes or lions or something. Rats. And it's just the place for buried treasure. Oh.
a close shave. <coughs> oh, Phoenix, you did it. You must have. Thank you, thank you. But how? How did you do it? Simple. I merely went and got a wish from your friend, the Samiad. Oh, good old Samiad. I beg your pardon. Oh, good old Phoenix. <laughs> oh, yes. Good old clever Phoenix. Yes. Bird. Don't call it that. Don't believe it's blown off. Oh, Phoenix. Phoenix, oh, Phoenix where are you? Phoenix, are you in there? Phoenix. The garden. We haven't looked in the garden. Come on. Cook, cook, please calm yourself. It's no use, Mum. I shall have to give him a notice. But, but why? Whatever's the matter? It's them children, Mum. There's that new carpet in their room, covered through with mud on both sides, and sakes alive knows where they got it. All that muck to be cleared up. And a Sunday. It's not my place, and it's not my inclination, to spend a whole Sunday clearing up after them. You cantankerous cat. She's a disagreeable pig, and a beastly blue nose boz was. But how are we going to explain the mud on the carpet? The truth. We shall have to tell the truth. To tell the truth, I'm not sorry. They didn't mean to upset Cook. Their ridiculous story. Carpets flying off and into towers. We'll find a better cook, dear heart. One who likes children, perhaps. Oh, poor lamb. Better get the doctor in. Oh, poor little chap. While Mother's out, we can take the lamb on an outing. Oh, yes. Somewhere warm to make his cough better. I wish we could find that bird. I don't much fancy going off without it. It saved our bacon last time, remember? I'll get the lamb dressed. Come on, everybody. The journey might be cold. I shouldn't think it's in the garden. Too fond of its own comfort. Hmm. Well, I know it hasn't deserted us. It's a bird of its word. Quite so. There you are. If you wanted me, you should have recited the Ode of Invocation. The Ode of what? Invocation. It is 7,000 lines long and written in very pure and beautiful Greek. I expect it to be recited in full when I am summoned. Couldn't you tell us in English and in a shortened version? How about, come along, come along, good old phoenix? Hmm, good old beautiful phoenix? Right. How about, good old beautiful phoenix, come along, come along? Not perfect, but it will suffice. Look here. How in the name of heaven am I to make the beefsteak and kidney pudding your mother ordered for your dinners? Tell me that. You don't deserve to have no dinner, so you don't. Oh, Cook, I meant to tell you. Oh, meant to tell me. Well, I mean to tell you. My gracious cat's alive. Whatever have you dressed that blessed child in his outdoors for? We aren't going to take him out. At least, not exactly out. Out? That I'll take care you <coughs> don't. Oh, duck a lamb. And him with a whooping cough sure as eggs. Look here. Can't you go and make your steak and kidney pudding? And leave this precious puppet to catch his death a cold? I warn you, beware, ere it be too late. Wherever did that there yellow fowl come from? I wish. I wish for a sunny southern shore that's any whooping cough. Huh? Say breaches and all! Oh! It's all right, Ducky Lamb. Panther's got you. I say! Oh, it's burning hot. It's burning hot. Is it hell I've got to? Oh, it's beautiful. No wonder Liza could make either head nor tail of the tea leaves. I'll never scold you kiddies again, I promise. Nor tell tales to your ma, nor... Pity me to bring her. Oh, Much better, isn't I'll it? I'll have to open my eyes in the end. Ah! <gasps> Why, rat me 
catch a life. What's all this? A dream, I expect. It's the best I ever dreamed. Oh, look here. It isn't a dream. It's real. Oh, yes, yeah, sure. They always say that in dreams. Calm yourself, my good woman. Good woman, indeed. This is something like a dream. Never did I think to see the day. Well, you're seeing it now, so you might as well take a jolly good look. Come on, a council. <laughs> We've got to get her off the carpet. Why? Roll it up and hide it, so we can get off at any moment. We don't want to. I want to explore. Well, that's all very well, but where are we? The natives might be warlike. <laughs> I think the safest thing is to leave the carpet with her sitting on it. <laughs> she looks as if she's going to sit there like that forever. Oh, come on. Let's go. Mm. 